Hi guys, Labour MP Jess Phillips attacked the Tory barge solution when interviewed on Sky News. Now, as we know, there are plans to put up to 500 asylum seekers onto a barge in the sea at a private port in Dorset. Ministers have been asked if those on board the barge will be permitted to leave the vessel, and no clear answer was forthcoming. They were asked if the asylum seekers can leave the port in Dorset, and no clear answer was given either. Jess Phillips called it a ridiculous gimmick. Have a listen. What are your thoughts on these barges? I think it's just another ridiculous gimmick. And I think I think the thing I want to make clear is that this isn't instead of the hotels. This is as well as the hotels. And this particular barge, uh, you know, we're talking about sort of 0.3% of the current uh, not not 3%, 0.3% of the, the current backlog. What I don't understand um, is uh, it just seems a very unusual thing not to have spoken to the local authority. As you said, the, Mayor, the Labour Party tried to get the government to vote that into law that local authorities uh, where these sites and hotel sites would be held would have to by law be consulted with and the government voted against that last week. Um, it just it just feels to me, I have to say, that they just want you to have this image of this barge uh, for your news broadcast. So it looks like they're doing something. But this is, a, I mean, excuse the pun, a tiny drop in the ocean and they should get on with clearing the backlog of the 166,000 cases. And she's right. What Instead of focusing on clearing the backlog, this is just a PR exercise. Because it's not going to remove the numbers that, that maybe some of the supporters of Rishi Sunak and Suella Braveman are thinking. It's not going to remove that those numbers out of hotels. As she pointed out, it's about 0.3% of those who are on the backlog at the moment. And we're talking about 150,000. So this is going to not even put a dent in the numbers who are in hotels. Now, not everyone who is on, in the backlog is in a hotel, but there are thousands in hotels. So you're going to need hundreds of these, or tens or hundreds of these barges if you want to remove everyone from these hotels. They're not, that's not going to happen. This is just a PR exercise. This is to show the media, look, we're doing something. Look, racists and bigots, we're doing something. Remember to vote for us at the next election, uh, maybe the, the local elections or the general election. And that, that's what this is all about. Now, what's interesting is that there's no local consultation. The Labour Party here, as Jess Phillips has said, uh, we're trying to push through legislation that would allow local authorities to decide. Um, the Tories voted against that. And because they have a majority, they could... Um, they could succeed there. What's that about? They don't want anyone protesting against this, be it um, members of the public or councils. They just have to grim and bear it. So much for handing back control. But as she said, this is just, this is not and this is not hotels or barges. This is hotels and barges. So the hotels will remain in place as a means to accommodate people. But at the end, it's just a PR exercise, a gimmick, a stunt, nothing more. And for some people it may work, but I think for the mass, vast majority, it will not. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.